Hi, I'm Heather from Car Seat Site, and I would like to show you a method for installing a rear facing only car seat without the base using the European belt routing method. And this is my favorite method, and I learned it from probably one of the best technicians in the country, Denise Donaldson with Safe Ride News. So I'd like to show you this technique. It is a fabulous technique because it is great with both short seat belts and long seat belts. So you can use it with um, both long and short, which is great because I happen to have short seat belts in my car. So this is um, perfect for showing you that. Now, uh, on I have two different car seats here. One has a clip on the back where that shoulder belt is going to be routed. So the shoulder belt just goes right through here. And I also have this particular car seat right here that doesn't have a clip on the back. So how do we know that this car seat is able to use the European belt routing method? Well, we open up the owner's manual. The owner's manual tells us right here where to put that shoulder belt. So it's very important to read your owner's manual when you go to use this method, because if your owner's manual doesn't allow you to use that uh, European belt routing method, you can't use it. So just make sure that you read your owner's manual. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by placing your rear facing only car seat on your vehicle seat and look for your recline level. Um, and this is this red line right here. I want to make sure that it's somewhere in the uh, zone of being level. We can fine tune it at the end but I do wanna make sure that it's somewhere near level and we want it level with the ground. Make sure you're parked on level ground. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna route the lap belt through our belt guides right here. So we just make sure the lap belt only is going through. Just like that. And I'm going to stop right there. If I try and buckle in the seatbelt, that makes the seatbelt too short and I'm not going to be able to continue. So I stop right there. Next, what I do is I take the shoulder belt and I pull all the way around behind the car seat. Now remember, this is the car seat that has the clip on the back. So I'm going to place that shoulder belt in the clip. Now, to buckle the seatbelt, I actually have to climb into my car. So, I apologize. That's not a very good view. And I'm going to buckle the seatbelt. Okay. There we go. And that's what the European belt routing method looks like. So, the shoulder belt goes all the way around. It's buckled in. This is where the lap belt goes through. Now, if it were the American method that we were using right now, um, the shoulder belt would be flat up against the vehicle seat, but this is the European belt mount method. So next what we do is we wanna put all of the slack back into here. We need to make sure though that the shoulder belt is locked. Now, because I have a short seat belt, this is probably the length of my seat belt right here. So yeah, as you can see, there's no more slack to pull out. If you have a longer seat belt, your seat belt, you'll be able to pull more out. So you wanna pull all of that slack out. Make sure that you've switched over your retractor to the locked position. But mine's all the way out. So now what I'm gonna do is feed it back into the retractor and make sure that my car seat is tight. We want it to move less than one inch right here at the belt path. This is the belt path right here. So we can see that it's moving. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't move. Now I can't, I have a baby in here, my doll, so I can't press down right here. So how am I gonna get that tight? The method I like to use is I'm gonna grab right here and push that shoulder belt up this way. And I'm gonna grab with my other hand just above the latch plate, where the latch plate buckles in to the seatbelt buckle. So I'm just gonna lean in here, reach over, and here's where I'm gonna grab. So I'm pulling this way and I'm pushing this way. So it's a pull, push. And you 
can see how much tighter it got. So just like that, it's super tight. Now I'm going to look at my recline level again here. And I'm level to ground. It looks pretty good to me. Just double check that it's nice and tight. Now, as you do this, if I weren't sitting here talking, I could get this done in less than 30 seconds. It'd be super easy. So as you're doing a ride share or going into a relative's car or um, traveling in a taxi, you could do this super fast and get this done. So it is a great way to travel if you're traveling with your rear facing only seat or just hopping into a friend's car or a relative's car. So that is how you do the European belt routing method. Now to unbuckle this car seat, because now you're like, okay, I've got it in super tight, my seat belt's locked. How do I get, how do I get it out? Well, here's the easy way. Unbuckle it. Before you unbuckle it, grab onto the seat belt. Don't let it retract. And then lift it up. Now it's caught in here. Lift it up and over, just like that. And get it off of the car seat. Now, make sure you don't have any twists or turns as you feed it back into the retractor. And you're good to go. You're done. Thanks for watching the video.